That's right, Marla. That podcaster had a lot to do with the outcome of this case. It was his continuous coverage and the pressure that led to the arrest of two people. One of those men was taken into custody at this house in San Pedro. 24 years without a resolution uh, until today. What happened to Kristen Smart after leaving a college party on May 25th, 1996, is still unknown. But investigators now say Paul Flores, who back then was considered a person of interest in Smart's disappearance, is now the prime suspect in her murder. I'm here this afternoon to announce the arrest of Paul Flores for the murder of Kristen Smart and the arrest of his father, Ruben Flores, as an accessory to the murder. Both were arrested at the same time Tuesday morning. 44-year-old Flores was taken into custody in San Pedro while his 80-year-old father was arrested at his home in Arroyo Grande. During the search warrant, detectives recovered evidence related to the, the murder of Kristen Smart. I know they took soil samples from his dad's house um, about four or 500 miles away from here. Karen Kinsley is Paul's aunt. She refuses to believe her nephew could have hurt his college classmate. He said he liked her, you know, and he doesn't know what happened to her. So that's all I know. Smart was a college freshman and only 19 when she disappeared on Memorial Day weekend in 96. Her friends told detectives Flores promised to walk Smart back to her dorm, but she never made it there and hasn't been seen since then. Nobody can figure out where she is. So that's why they just keep on looking and looking and looking. As the days turned into years, the case remained unsolved. To make sure Smart wouldn't be forgotten, freelance journalist Chris Lambert began the podcast, Your Own Backyard. Part of the reason that I first got involved with telling the story of Kristen Smart was that things had been too quiet. Lambert took his listeners deep into the case with photos, interviews with detectives, and people who knew both Smart and Flores. The podcast also revealed evidence considered crucial in the disappearance of Smart, and he highlighted behavior like this from Paul's father during a deposition. What other times have you talked to your son about the anything to do with the Kristen Smart case? The podcast popularity grew, and investigators gave credit where it's due. What Chris did with the podcast was truly put it out nationally to bring in new information. So we did, it did produce some information that I, I believe was valuable. While two people are now in custody for Smart's murder, her body has never been found. Uh, we'll continue to focus on finding her remains, regardless of any court action. Now, Paul and Ruben Flores maintained their innocence. They are both in San Luis Obispo County Jail. No bail for Paul. For his father, Ruben, bail was set at $250,000. Arraignment has been scheduled for Thursday. Reporting from San Pedro, I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.